Hello and welcome to my vlog. I'm Britt Marie Box and today I'm going to be going through all the stuff I bought at Disneyland Paris in October 2019. So we got back from Disneyland Paris a few days ago and I haven't looked at anything I've bought yet. I've left it all in the bag so I could take it out now and look at it fresh. So here's what I got. First of all, I bought an unnecessarily large bag. <laughs> this was two euros, I believe, for the really, really big bag, which was the same price as a medium bag. So it kind of made sense to me because um, Tim and I throw uh, quite extravagant Halloween parties and we always need stuff to store decorations in. So I figured this would make a really, really good storage bag afterwards. Don't get too excited. It's not, it's not that much stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go through it all now. I'm gonna put this on the floor, it'll probably be a lot easier. I also bought uh, a small bag, which was a Euro, um, because I bought things on two separate days and I really, really liked it. So this I'll probably use upstairs, just again, to store stuff, because they're really strong bags um, and I think definitely worth a Euro. I think I'll start with the smaller stuff. Everywhere we go, we buy a fridge magnet, and if we've been there more than once, we will try and buy different ones each time. I really liked this. I liked that each letter uh, represented one of the characters. Um, just thought it was really cool and different uh, from the one we've already got. When we went in July, we brought back a castle one, which is sitting proudly on the fridge, uh, but I wanted something a little different, so we went for this one, and this was 4 99 so four euros and 99 cents. Next up, and possibly one of my favorite things I've ever purchased is this. This is a poison apple popcorn receptacle. <laughs> so you get these at the popcorn stands um, around the park and they cost 10 euros 99 uh, for the actual holder. And then that includes it being filled to the top with popcorn. And I mean to the top, I couldn't close this thing when they gave it to me. And if you then want to refill your popcorn, it's just the normal popcorn price of six, I think it's 6.99 or 6.49, it's somewhere around that region. But I really, really liked this. It's got a little handle here. It's bright green on the inside and I'm gonna use this for all the snacks. <laughs> so I'll be using this, sitting at home, enjoying snacks from my poison apple. Um, and I really liked that this was exclusive just for the Halloween season. So I wanted to pick up some things that I couldn't get any other time in the parks. So I'm really, really pleased with this one. The next thing I purchased was this super cute mug. Um, I really, really love collecting mugs as well. I collect a lot of things from places where I go, but I didn't have a Disneyland Paris one. So it's got mini breaking out the front there. It says Disneyland Paris on the front. And then on the back, you can see where she's peeking through the mug. And I especially like that the reverse side of it is the Walt Disney Studios Park and the front side is the Disneyland Park. I think that's a really nice little detail. And this was $12.99. I saw this mug in quite a lot of the shops in the park. Sometimes the shops do things specifically for that area where they are, but they also have a range that they kind of spread out across the park and this was one of them. Uh, and I really, really liked it. So that is going to be a staple for my morning tea. And to match, I bought this. Now it's got a handle, so technically you could say it's a ridiculously large mug, <laughs> but I will be using it for cereal, for soup, for pasta. I'll be using it uh, as a different kind of bowl. This was 14 99 and matches my mug perfectly. It's just such a cute little set. And I'm definitely gonna be using this set as a breakfast set, I think. So I'll have my morning cup of tea and some cereal or something like that. I just, I really liked it. I saw the bowl first because I actually went weirdly with the idea of wanting um, a special Disney bowl that I liked, uh, that I could have cereal in. I'm actually a fan of having cereal at night uh, rather than the morning so I wanted a bowl that uh, was just cute and and good all-round usage uh, and I saw this first and really really loved it and then saw the mug second so I knew I had to get the set really and also as well it's got the matching backside of it uh, of Minnie looking through the studios as well and this one doesn't have Disneyland Paris on the front it has it just inside the bowl here. So it was 12 99 for the mug, 
14.99 for the bowl which made it less than 30 euros for the entire set and i love it something else i knew i wanted before we even got to the parks were these earrings these little mickey head earrings that i got in the shop above the uh, Disneyland Hotel in the little boutique shop. A friend of mine, Naomi, who I'm actually going with in December, she's got these and I loved them and I just wanted to copy her, to be honest with you. They're actually birthstone earrings um, and these are April's birthstone. Um, June's birthstone, which is my birthday month, were a really light purple, like a lilac stone. And whilst they were lovely, I really wanted the clear ones. So I'll just pretend my birthday is in April for now. And these were uh, green <laughs> on the pricing structure, which from my memory, because I can't find the receipt, I have looked everywhere, was 18.99 euros. Um, and they had lots of different types of jewelry. I actually bought uh, the matching necklace, uh, which is a little Mickey head like this and a B uh, for Brit, obviously. Last time I went and I love it and I really wanted the matching earrings as well. So these were 18 99 uh, They are Swarovski, as it says here. And I really, really like them. I think they're super cute and they will become my daytime earrings. One other thing that I knew I was going to get at the parks when we got there was this Ariel and Eric pin uh, from their wedding day. It's actually something I wanted to buy the last time I was there but just didn't. It completely slipped my mind so it was definitely going to be on my shopping list uh, for this time. This was orange which I believe is €7.99. Again I bought this at the same time as I bought the earrings and I can't find the receipt but I'm pretty sure those were the prices. This won't be for trade, uh, this will just be for me to keep because obviously this time around when Tim and I went to the parks we got into pin trading um, but this pin is just for me because I really wanted it because it reminds me of me and Tim. <laughs> so this one will just be for me to keep. Next up from my shopping I had to do it, I had to buy the Arundel Aqua Ears. These were pretty much everywhere in the park. Um, I knew I was going to buy them before we even went. I saw them on social media. I love blue. I love light blue as well. It's one of my favourite colours. Um, and I knew I just had to have the new sequin Arundel Aqua Ears. These were 19 99 And they're really, really soft on the inside. They're nice and velvety. Squishy ears and the sequins. And yeah... I really like them. <laughs> and last but certainly no means least, um, to match the years, I got the Arundel Aqua Spirit Jersey. This is my first Spirit Jersey. Uh, I haven't got any of the other ones, but I just loved it. It's got the D with the established 1992 on the front of it. On the back, it says Disneyland Paris. And the Disneyland is so sparkly, but it's really lovely and silver and just hologram. And then the fabric in the actual jumper is really, really sparkly too. And again, I just fell in love with it. So I didn't wear it on the trip because I already had outfits pre-planned, obviously, queen of organized fun. But I will be wearing the spirit jersey and ear combo when I return in December. And yeah, just really looking forward to wearing it. I found that the sizing was quite generous. I have another jumper from Disneyland Paris that I'm an XL in, um, and I am a high street size 16. But with the spirit jerseys, this is a large. Uh, I did try the extra large one first and it looked like um, I'd been shrunk <laughs> inside it. So I bought the large one instead. This was 59 99 so not cheap, but I really wanted it and I knew I wanted it before we went. Um, and I'm really, really pleased that I got it. Also with our annual passes, we get 10% discount in the shops as well. So I made the most of that. But as I say, these were pretty much everywhere around the park. They're, they're promoting them very heavily at the moment. And it's just so, so sparkly. And I love it. I would wear it every day if I could. <laughs> and then one thing I bought, which I'm surprised has survived the journey home, is a Mickey cookie. <laughs> I think no trip to Disneyland Paris is complete without a Mickey-shaped snack. I did buy this to eat on the way home. But as I say, we got in really, really late. So I haven't actually eaten this yet. So guess what I'm going to do this afternoon? I'm going to get the kettle on. I'm going to have my new Disney mug and I'm going to have a Mickey cookie. <laughs> 
So that's everything I bought on this trip to Disneyland Paris in October 2019. Uh, I got a little bit of Halloween, a little bit of jewellery, some homewares and of course the Arendelle Aqua ears and spirit jersey which I had my eye on before we even went. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for joining me on this haul. Make sure to go check out my vlogs from Disneyland Paris, it's split over two days, they're on my channel uh, as well as another travel vlog as well and stay tuned for more Disney journeys to come. Thanks very much, see you soon.